Hi everyone, my name is Ainoa and I'm here with my colleague Carolina. Today we will show you how to build Virtual Factory with MongoDB Atlas. We'll introduce the concepts of Virtual Factories and why they're important, and then showcase how you can build a Virtual Factory with MongoDB and Unity. Let's get started. Virtual Factories are in a boom right now. From Hyundai to BMW to NVIDIA, companies all over the world are adopting Virtual Factories. But why? What is a virtual factory? A virtual factory is a computer-based replica of a real-world manufacturing facility. It accurately mimics the characteristics and intricacies of a physical factory, which makes it a powerful tool for manufacturers to optimize operations. OK, now that the term virtual factory is clear, you might be asking yourself, why do you need one? And how does it really work? To answer this question, we have to take a small step back. So, you begin by digitizing your physical factory. How does that work? Think of your physical factory as a regular house. Adding IoT sensors is like putting up security cameras that tell you if anything changes. It becomes a smart house. Now, imagine making a digital copy of your factory house on a computer, like a virtual house. You can play with your virtual house to see what works best without touching the real house. This way, you can test things out without any real-world impact just like trying out different furniture arrangements in a house without rearranging your real furniture. However, setting up a virtual factory for complex manufacturing isn't that simple. Challenges include managing systems overload, handling vast amounts of data from physical factories, and creating visualizations. The virtual factory must also adapt to changes in the physical factory over time. Given these challenges, having a data platform that can contextualize all the data coming in from the physical factory and then feed that to the virtual factory and vice versa is crucial. And that is where MongoDB Atlas, our developer data platform, comes in, providing synchronization capabilities between physical and virtual worlds, enabling flexible data modeling, and providing access to the data via a unified query interface, as seen here. Now that we've discussed the benefits and the challenges of building virtual factories, let's unpack how simple it is to build a virtual factory with MongoDB Atlas. There are five main steps to build a virtual factory with MongoDB. We'll go over each one of these in detail throughout the video, but this provides a general overview. Let's dive into the business requirements. We defined our set of business requirements as the following. One, implement a virtual run of the physical factory to identify layout and process optimizations, and second, provide a real-time visibility of the physical factory conditions, such as inventory for process improvements. Based on the previous business requirements, we created a 3D model of the factory using a widely used game engine, Unity. This virtual model can be visualized using a computer, a tablet, or any virtual reality headset. Additionally, we also added four different buttons, red, white, blue, and stop buttons, which enables the user to submit production orders to the physical factory or stop the process altogether. After creating the 3D model, we linked the real and virtual factories using MongoDB Atlas. For the virtual factory app, we used our product, Realm by MongoDB, which displays data in Unity and syncs it with MongoDB Atlas. Then we used MongoDB Atlas device sync to smoothly sync the two parts. Now onto the physical factory. Lots of shop floor systems connect to MongoDB Atlas. With MongoDB at the shop floor, you can analyze and visualize local data. Data goes directly into Atlas in the cloud or via cluster to cluster sync. More IoT devices mean more data. Good data storage is vital for performance. In our project, we linked AWS IoT Core to get factory MQTT messages. These messages go to MongoDB Atlas through an HTTP endpoint and then get sorted by source. Let's dissect this architecture. On the left, the virtual factory takes orders stored in Realm, syncs with MongoDB Atlas and uses Atlas triggers to send them to the physical factory. The physical side shares sensor data and event information about items moving through the factory. MongoDB Atlas creates the whole data platform, linking the real and virtual worlds seamlessly. Let's dig into data management. Think of MongoDB as a translator for JSON data. It seamlessly switches between JSON and binary JSON using MongoDB drivers. Additionally, what's neat is MongoDB's document structure. 
whether you've got key value pairs, time series, or event data, MongoDB adjusts to your needs. Now let's take a look at MongoDB time series. It's a clever storage system for time-based data. That means efficient storage and faster queries, especially as your data scales. The best part, it's all part of MongoDB Atlas. Once we have the data modeled and connectivity established, our last step is to run event-driven analytics on top of our developer data platform, powered by computer vision and AI. Let's analyze the inventory status in the physical factory. First, images are captured within the warehouse and transmitted to MongoDB, where they get stored and processed. We use computer vision techniques to drive inventory monitoring and get quick results. The results from this computer vision analysis are then transmitted to the virtual factory through the device sync. If the user attempts to order a piece in the virtual factory that is not in stock, they will immediately get a notification from the physical factory about inventory status. This dynamic interaction between the physical and virtual components enhances the overall user experience and is facilitated by the capabilities of MongoDB Atlas and AI integration. Now that we've explained how everything works, let's see it in action. The user puts a VR headset on and places an order for the blue piece in the virtual world. The physical factory starts production based on the order they received from the virtual factory. The virtual factory then mimics the movement of the physical factory based on the messages it receives from it. As of right now, everything is working smoothly. But let's see what happens when the physical factory is missing a blue piece. The user with the VR headset on tries to order a blue piece again from the virtual factory and instantly receives a notification that the physical factory is out of blue pieces. All of this happens in real time under one platform, MongoDB Atlas. And with that, we're done. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team and have a look at our accompanying blogs. See you next time.